off of that, let's move into Under Armour making some news over the weekend, doing something that I have never seen before. Under Armour had a, uh, what was the numbers? A 15-year, $280 million contract with UCLA. It was the richest contract between a school and an apparel company in the history of college sports. Just massive numbers. And they had it since 2015. And apparently, somewhere in that contract, if Under Armour felt like they were not getting the market value, if they were not getting the exposure that they felt like was worth that contract, there is a clause that allows them to pull out of the deal. So Under Armour exercised that rule in the contract and pulled out of the $280 million contract. I have never seen an apparel company come out and say that they were not getting their money's worth, and this goes to show exactly how far UCLA has fallen, both in football and basketball. At this point, what do you do? I mean, it's it's really strange to see. I'm sure what that do you there do are... If you're UCLA, or you, what do you do if, if you're, you're, you're If you're UCLA, Under Armour's saving money, and they're going to go find somebody else to, to wear their stuff, right? They've got Notre Dame, they've got Auburn, they got, you know, obviously Maryland is the the bell cow for them because yeah. the owner went to Maryland. It's the same thing with Phil Knight in Oregon, right? But if you're UCLA, you got a football season coming up. What happens? I'm I'm so confused by that because I mean, nobody I think has they'll said find that. another deal between now and then. They're just not going to get anywhere close to the money because everyone has seen if Under Armour pulled out is because they weren't getting their money's worth. Let's do some math and see what do we think the money really is worth. That's, I mean, this is a massive They're just going to get a bad deal. They're yeah. going to get a deal that's bad. Before before for this, they got a great deal. And I think Under Armour probably overpaid oh, simply, for the fact, simply for the fact that they want it to be in L.A. This is one of those things where I've just never, under, I've just never understood overpaying to be in L.A. Teams don't like college sports because of the city they live in. They like them because of the school they are. Well, and, and where they went to school, right? It's, it's typically yes, undergrads like and whatever. Los Angeles, your school being in Los Angeles doesn't give you anything exceptional. It and, just it, you might get yeah. a little bump from that, but it ain't a great bump. It's I'm, not. I'm willing to the bet volume that you think people out there think it's worth. I'm willing to bet that Auburn and Notre Dame are the two best contracts that they have, and they were 100%, nothing close. Hundred percent. Yeah, they were nothing close to the UCLA deal. It it just it, the contract never made sense from the beginning. Now it would make sense if UCLA was a powerhouse in something, in right? something, anything. And instead, they're not that good at anything. So UCLA has had a rough go of it here lately with the football players saying that they don't trust the the program, and basketball, you know, just having to replace another coach. I, it's it's really. Amazing to me. One, I've never seen this before ever. And two, uh, UCLA is in deep, deep water because they were already having financial trouble. If they end up having to fire Chip Kelly after this year, which more than likely not going to regardless of the outcome, I, I but say, it was looking that way. not going to just because I, th- I think it's just not wise to oh, do it's, so. It's definitely not wise. But and I don't know that a new coach is going to come in and fix this. They don't have coaching problems. They keep trying new coaches over and over and over again. They got a problem with young people not wanting to come to their school. Yes. It, That's, it's that, really th- strange. There's no co- – unless you go out and get Cal Perry, he's the only man I know that it doesn't matter where he coaches, these kids love him and want to come play for him. Other than that, they are going to these schools. Now, some of these coaches have a lot of clout, and they've been there for a long time, and they're great, but – those are establishments, okay? Yeah. And those establishments have been great for a long time. UCLA used to be that, and when they fell off, man, it's 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 like trying to put a train back on the tracks, man. This is not easy, I, and you it, can't just hire the next hot young coach and think it's going to come tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I so agree. I, I would let Chip run this contract out. I'm not paying two coaches at all. I'm not, I'm not writing a second check to no. anybody right now. No, because not, not, it's not the, the coaching that's going to fix it. No, no, it, it is the programs themselves. Uh, Damien it's jumped in. It's a gorgeous school. Yes. And it's oh, an it's incredible beautiful. school. I can't figure out for the life of me why they suck. 
At, but they suck at everything. Yeah, they really do. I mean, it's <laughs> at, at least all of the revenue sports, right? The revenue sports are oh, what they're yeah. bad I mean, at. I, Those okay, are the ones that matter. If they have a great gymnastics group, I don't know anything about I'm sorry. Yeah. And they, they, I'm an asshole. I don't know anything about it. They are a great gymnastics group, but it's not a revenue sport. I don't cross. My bad. It's not a revenue sport. That's the problem. It, it, it doesn't bring in the money. Damien said UCLA football is Duke football. And I think that's kind of close to right, except that I think Duke has been more successful as of late. Well, Duke has been more successful in the short term. I don't know that long term. And no, not long term. No, not long term. UCLA used to be somewhere. My issue though is Duke is a smart kid private school. UCLA football is a state school. Yes. Like like state schools should be better than private schools. They absolutely should. Unless you're a USC private school because it's like a fake private school. It's just a private school for cool people, <laughs> but really they have the dumbed down grades so everybody can get in like all the state schools do. Yeah. Um, like they're not Vanderbilt and Duke kicking people out because they can't make the grades. They're not Notre Dame and Stanford saying, sorry, you, you can't have a 12 on your ACT and still get in. Like UC, UCLA and USC should be pulling the same quality kid school. Kids. Yes. Yes, they I, should. I, don't, I, can't, I can't explain for the life of me why they're so bad 